Hello friends, welcome back to my video. Before we start, today is the last day of our heat death sale. There are five random discount codes hidden throughout this video. Since it is the last day of the sale, everything gets free shipping. So if you want to add something to your order, or if you haven't gotten anything yet, you get free shipping. So heatdeath.co, thank you so much. This is something awful. Nice guys, part four. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm honestly giving up on dating apps. I thought I had it all planned out, but turned to be futile. I haven't been a hit on dating apps for the past four years. Never had sex Nerd. at university because a lot of females couldn't understand me and preferred the more woke and physically attractive guys who were like six foot because they have the upper hand in the dating market. So today I devised a master plan. I set my picture as a chat and walked away for about 24 hours before doing any swipes. I changed all my pictures to myself including changing the bio because a smart female catch on too quickly. I did that with Tinder and Bumble. I matched with well over 200 females and guess what? None wanted to talk to me. These women that swiped right on me had the most perfect body for lovemaking. They now going to waste their birth years with Chad. Well, a nice and stable guy like me has cry again. Keep crying. You look like a rapist. I love that. I'll be honest, I really, really do not enjoy being told I look like a sex offender. So if you want to have another go at the first message, I'd be open to it. You sound like a fa- <laughs> These two matched, and uh, I guess this person just wants to video call with the match to make sure that they're not a catfish. I wouldn't want to date a fish. Video call with me quickly to verify, please. First, I have to be honest with you. My first husband died in a car accident. I witnessed the whole accident. And we were very close and thought each other the happiest people in the world. We were inseparable. Video chatting while driving. In the accident, I saw everything that happened on the screen of my phone. And I suffered from severe PTSD. This is fucked up. A terrible after effect that prevented me from looking at the screen of my phone and speaking for the rest of my life. Enjoy your trip. Hubba dubba dubba beep beep big milk truck coming through. Hubba bubba. Eyeballs pop out, horn sound. Big boingo tatas. Wow, wow, wow. Did Justin Roiland write this? The world would be a better place with more bands on old people. Just put them in their own city and lock the gates or something. I agree. Hey ladies, what would your first reaction be if you were on Tinder and this was this guy's profile picture? <laughs> uh, apparently this person was born in late June and um... Has cancer. I can be the second cancer in you. You're too much. It's the first time I've genuinely laughed out loud because of a Tinder message. I am dying. Hey. Hey, what's up? Not much. I just am at work right now. How about you? Nice. Where do you work? I'm about to head over to my friend's to paint his whole house. Not gonna lie, trying to rub one out real quick. This is why I hate men. Right now, I'm in the beginning of a really awful divorce, so I'm keeping it simple for now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm not looking for that. You're only looking for sexual pleasure out of this? Not only, but a mix. I don't need someone to strictly chat with, though. I love giving pleasure. But what's going on in my life is pretty much emotionally devastating to me. I started Tinder to talk with people to help my mental health. Oh, that's an absolutely terrible move. No, it's not. Just move back to, to, I don't know, Fresno. Looking for some entertainment. What do you do for fun around here? I stab homeless people. You should act a bit more alpha so she thinks you're a Chad. Try messaging her. Get your tits out now or I'll fucking kill you. Do not do this. Girls will pound themselves silly with a piece of plastic while leaving a good man that would love them till the end of time in the friend zone. Matt, if someone leaves you for a piece of plastic, it's not the piece of plastic. It's your dick. <laughs> when I date a woman, I'm not putting effort to convince her to have sex with me. I expect her to realize that the very moment I walk in the room. Dating is to help her feel comfortable around me and get to know me better so she realizes I'm a good guy, that I have good intentions and she can trust me. Basically, past the initial dating phase, if I need to keep putting effort to get sex, that means she doesn't value me as a sexual partner and probably that she doesn't like me that much, but likes the things I can give her. Hard fucking pass. You will not be missed. Lock 30. That's your name? What do you see in a partner? Are they fit? Over six foot? Do they make a sizable income? Are they well endowed? Do they own more than two houses? Will they buy you that Gucci bag you keep browsing? If your answer is yes, then look no further and settle for less. With your imagination, anything is possible. And I'll be there to support those very thoughts. Together, we can pretend to live in luxury. <laughs> I am Locky, And with me on your side, 
sarcasm is possible. Great. This one starts out great. Cream pies have a very distinct smell. If that's the case, I won't eat you, but I will fuck you. <laughs> As hard. No reply. Keep on keeping on with guys that will use you as a cunt warming cunt dumpster. I work in a field surrounded by women. Gay. Getting laid is easy. You passed up on someone that would care for you. I'd rather take care of a load by hand than have someone that doesn't deserve it. Hi. You would have flaked on me tomorrow anyway. No loss. How will she take care of her ass now? Kevin, 25. Searching for my future girlfriend. Please be size double zero. Virgin. Sexually adventurous. With a high school education. Not stuck up. And we'll have hamburgers with the boys. After you cook them for us, of course. No previous partners. A big plus. No, I use for his name. Uh, Telemachus49. I am single. Never married. 6'6". Six, six. I'm looking for an SWF that is straight. Looking for marriage or FWB. Ghosting is becoming too much of a fad. Tattoos are not my thing. Sorry, ladies. No divorce people, please. No single moms. As they are a dime a dozen. Looking for my million dollar baby. Love to travel and need that lifelong woman to enjoy life with. Or friends with benefits. Here for long term to marriage. Please do not ghost. It is very impolite. I am also triple for COVID vaccinated. Hey, I'm going to take a second to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. It's me! Today is the last day of our April heat death sale. Heat death is me and Susie's clothing company. We design all of this. We print it all in our garage, ship it all out to you, give you a little handwritten love letter. Buying from heat death is the best way to support this channel. And to celebrate the end of the sale, we just added these new dad shirts and hoodies. We're only making 25 of each, so when they're gone, they're gone. If you want a hoodie that says dad on it, I got you. Here's the other stuff, though. It's, it's looking good. I'm a fan of these things. And I can't wait to break my fucking back making them. <laughs> Please go to heatdeath.co, see if you like anything. Like I said, today's the last day. And every order gets free shipping. So if you haven't gotten something yet, you get free shipping. If you want to add an item to your order, you can do it. You pay free shipping. Just get, You get free shipping. We'll put it in the same order as your last order. We can do that. Heatdebt.co. Please check it out. Again, best way to support the channel. Thank you all for the incredible, incredible support. I love you. I think. I do. Heatdebt.co. Back to the awful. Sup, daddy. How's it hanging? To the left and not as far down as I'd like. Well, aren't you just goddamn adorable? Not as adorable as that pack dog who distance increased since we matched. Where do you live? Okeechobee. That's the hard knocks life for us. Why are you yelling at me? You said you hate small talk, so I'm making it big. I love you. Hey man, can I talk to you about Kristen? I guess so. What about her? I've been talking with her a lot and we've grown pretty close. I know you're her boyfriend and all, but I was going to politely ask if you could break up with her. I just really feel a connection to her. She would be happy with me. That's funny because she told me you were creepy and constantly texts her even when she doesn't reply. You need to stop talking to my girlfriend and get the fuck out of my DMs. <laughs> You know she's just using that as an excuse because she'd rather tell you that than the truth, which is that she met a nice, charming alpha male. You betas are all the same. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you make her block me? To be honest, I should thank you. I didn't even want that ugly whore <laughs> anyway. Have fun with her though, beta. You're insane. Beta. The fuck is wrong with this dude? That V dude from BTS is V cute. Really? Another girl who likes BTS? I am very disappointed, Ari. I'm using a throwaway account to message you, but I've been following you for two years and have my notifications on for your posts. I thought you were different, as you are the only Asian I've seen on Twitter who does not talk about K-pop. Well, until yesterday. What's with females' new obsession with feminine Asian cooks? <laughs> Jesus. What happened to those who like masculine? men. Take a look at Jason Momoa, Channing Tatum, Brad Pitt. He would fuck all of them. Those are attractive men, not some Asian guys who look like girls and wear more makeup than the average female. It's upsetting because it gives us masculine men no chance, particularly guys like me who likes Asians. I think you should just stop breathing, brother. Brother. What if I told you that I actually know where I want to eat? Where then, huh? Put your money where your mouth is. Nowhere with you. <laughs> Sounds like a typical excuse for for someone who doesn't know where they want to eat. Or a valid reason for not wanting to go out with an asshole. I'm sorry if I came off as an asshole. I'm just trying to be playful. I'm really not one. The caption on his post was, Am I the asshole here, ladies? And... 
it? Let me know. I don't know why, but I love your name. It's super unique. Her name is Sona. I need 5.5 inch or more. <laughs> Longer does not get you any more points as you will hit my pelvis at 5.5. Need pick with measurements. With paper, with your name, next to it, or your face. Once verified, let's do video call right after to confirm you are not catfish. I get 500 likes every day. If you don't agree with this, then move on. I could care less. So I only break out the yardstick for 750 plus likes a day or more. 5.5 inches. I could make it. I'm usually in the public's parking lot eating sushi for my self-care. I get that. Oh, wow, lol. I'm looking for a sugar daddy. I'm more of a stevia daddy. <laughs> I'll buy you sushi once a week. I don't like sushi, babe. How about $50 once a week? How about get a job? How about fuck <laughs> off? Hey, how are you? Good, just got back from the KKK meeting. You look like you don't get bitches. <laughs> <laughs> a life goal of mine. Traveling. If you can't afford Dubai, don't match with me, please. And make more than 500,000 yearly. Ugh, I mean, I get it. She's the headmaster at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> you liked Andrea's photo. If you're a real cowboy, when's the last time you fucked your cousin? You dude look just like my sister. Why else would I have matched with you? Christ, I just came. You're welcome to come over and see how I treat family. On my way, sweet prince. This was bad. Me too, lol. I have my cats, though. I have my dog. You really wanted to be a smartass with an independent guy? What you mean, lol? Uh, durr. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. I also don't mind cussing a bitch out. Anna, 26. Vaccinated! Finally, I can stop using condoms. Hey, how was your night? Night was good. This morning kind of sucks. It's rough. Why? I went back to the restaurant after you left. I ended up going home with those two girls, and we had a threesome. That's sick. Pinocchio, 24. I'm so fucking <laughs> horny for Artos. <laughs> I want to fuck <laughs> a coked-out Tumblr hipster DIY aesthetic astrology thought in her lip gloss DSL mouth. I am sorry for reading this. I want to ravage a girl with thick framed glasses and edge dyed bobcat bangs every time I hear a thick, waist high, jean clad, choker wearing, slutty <laughs> wiccan minx say yikes. Y'all are big mood. I think I'll explode. I want to finger an art hoe. <laughs> I want to finger an art ho through her overalls while I pretend to be interested in her talking about Van Gogh and the Arctic Monkeys. Are you from Mississippi? Because you're the only miss who's piss I sippy. <laughs> I did not expect that. Jonah Hill, 22. We are a lesbian couple looking to find a guy who will be our sperm donor. You do not need to keep in contact with us. Just do your part and leave. Ha <laughs> ha. We are happy to buy you a pack of beer. Seems too good to be true. About me. No ugly chicks, fat chicks, baby mamas, or bitches 35 and older. If you got too many piercings, or got any sort of snake dragon tattoos, use pronouns, identify in the least bit with LGBT, you can get right the fuck out of here with that nasty fucking shit. Up is up, down is down, left is left, right, right, boy is boy, and girl is girl. You just use the jetpack cheat code. If you want to disagree, disagree with someone who gives a fuck. All that aside, I'm a really nice guy. Let's link. What do you guys think? Like a two-incher? One-incher? George, 27. I'm a high-value man. 100K a year. My own business. First of all, don't talk to me about equality. It's not his job. At the end of the day, you need to have a man that is willing to provide and have security. All you need to do is respect me, cook, and always be down to have sex. I'll take care of the rest. I'm a leader, and I will lead the relationship. I would listen to your options, but at the end of the day, I'll make the final decision. If you don't like to have a high-valued man, then swipe left and get your Self a loser. I'm getting back in line. <coughs> <laughs> I can't even fucking drink water. Um, so I was gonna say, this is a long one, so maybe buckle up. Nice. Pizza of any kind is always a safe bet. But I absolutely love sushi. I've always joked that if I could bag me a Japanese girl, I would be all set for life. She could be ugly as sin, be flat as a board, and not speak a bit of English. But as long as she can make me a spicy tuna roll and Connie's salad on the daily, I will put a ring on it. Okay, please understand that I only asked this next question to see how another person gauges their self-confidence and self-image. How they honestly view themselves as important to me. So physically speaking only, what do you feel is the sexiest or most attractive part of yourself? And Conversely, what one thing about your body would you change instantly if you had the power to do so? Hey gal pal!
Haven't heard back from you. Oh, no. I hope you haven't lost complete interest in talking to me already. Because that would be like a new Olympic level speed record for me. <laughs> Let me know how your day's been. I lied. The last one wasn't the long one. It's fucking <laughs> this one. You matched with Chelsea. So with the poly thing, are you after a secondary relationship? Or just something physical on the side? Neither. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So how does this work? Sorry if this is rude or something. I've genuinely not chatted to anyone doing this yet. I don't have anything against it. I'm just ignorant. Haha. <laughs> it works like every other person's romantic relationship. No, I mean between me and you. There is no me and you. What? Why are you on here then? I think you've misunderstood me or something. With my first question, I was asking how your poly relationship works. Is it full relationships with multiple people? Is it a relationship with one person with the freedom to have sex with other people? How do you do your poly relationship? What are you looking for on here? No, I pinned you correctly. You ask intrusive questions about my personal life and continue when you know I'm uncomfortable. You wouldn't apologize for being rude or something if you didn't know. There's no me and you because your actions are a red flag. A massive one. Why would I want to put myself around someone who doesn't care if I'm uncomfortable? You've also solely focused on my relationship, not actually getting to know me, and asking the question when I'm comfortable to do so. I'm not interested. In fact, I'm repulsed. Please leave me alone. I had no idea you were uncomfortable. <laughs> your communication skills are terrible. Nowhere did you inform me you were uncomfortable. I'm supposed to just know? Get over yourself. I've never met anyone with a poly relationship, so I was trying to work out if it was something I would be interested in proceeding with. I wouldn't want to continue talking to you if it turns out to not be compatible with me. How could I work that one out without asking you? Why would I waste time getting to know you first to only then find out that the poly thing was a deal breaker for me? It makes way more sense to talk about how that would work first, then if we're compatible, move on to getting to know each other. Again, if you had replied, I'm not really comfortable talking about this yet, I would have changed topics. I can't tell through text that you are uncomfortable if you don't say it. Green hair typing. Uh, I don't have an opinion. I don't know how that shit works either. Happy for you. If you're in it. Um, I, I choose to be ignorant because it's just easier to live this way. <laughs> there is no such thing as toxic masculinity. This will be good. Masculinity is a good thing. True masculinity is out there to protect and provide and to build the modern world as we know it. I'm glad you're not a snowflake. Jesus Christ, you sound insufferable. Good luck, buddy. I don't operate in the realm of luck, loser. I have God on my side. Yeah, you do. Go find a soy boy. If this was the medieval ages, me and my band of psychos would ride in on horseback and murder your whole village village of dorks and you'd be a spoil of war <laughs> oh my god it's funny to laugh at this stuff like i you know we all we're here that's why we're here dudes think this way like a lot of them like not a joke this is how they think if you're a dude that's gonna be in the comments being like when's the last time that a lady was like, I'm gonna rip you. <laughs> and that's it for this video. I hope you didn't like it. Did you see any discount codes? Hopefully you did, because this is the last day of the sale. All orders right now get free shipping. Please go to heatdeath.co. Maybe grab some of the Dad. merch if it's still available. Getting something from Heat Death is the best way to support this channel, and we won't be open for another couple months, so get it while it's good. And free shipping. Heatdeath.co. I respond to every comment I get, so please leave one. This one was fun to film. I actually enjoyed myself a lot. Who knew? I like making YouTube videos. Um, let me know how you guys are. What's, what's up? Like I said, I'm going to be in LA on May 5th at, or May 6th at the Kia Forum at the Kezo Show. So come hang out if you want to hang out. Um, yeah, dude. Love you guys. Hope you're great. Subscriber down, thanks. Brady and Ty making bangers in the basement. Susie writing lyrics on the side, Brady takes them. Go to Twitch live and the music is amazing. They made a ride, but they never put the brakes in. Brady and Ty making bangers in the basement. Susie writing lyrics on the side, Brady takes them. Go to Twitch live and the music is amazing.